Yep, that's me. And you're probably not wondering how I ended up there. Oh, you are? Alright, I'll tell you. It all starts with doping. Because what is sport without a little chemical enhancement, right? Wrong. It's dangerous for athletes, it's unfair for their competitors, and it's not good for the sport overall. That's why we have governing bodies such as the World Anti-Doping Agency, aka WADA, that enforces the rules about doping. Now WADA has a list of banned substances and methods updated every year. Currently under review, there is Tepentadol and Dehydrocodeine. That's it, right? Two very potent painkillers. Dehydrocodeine is around 10 times less potent than morphine. And Tepentadol is around 4 times less potent than morphine. So you can see how it's potentially dangerous and unfair to compete with those in your system. They can reduce the exercise induced pain, allowing you to push harder, so it's performance enhancing, and they can make you high as a kite, which is totally fine when you're riding at 50 km per hour on your bike in a peloton with people around you. No problem at all. Obviously, I'm just kidding. Now before adding them to the list, WADA needs to assess and quantify the effect of those painkillers, which is why they partnered with the University of Kent to run a scientific study. They are looking for 20 trained cyclists or triathletes that can comfortably hold around 280 watts for 20 minutes. So I applied and I got in. The study involves 5 lab visits, which I'm gonna detail to you in the next video. So make sure you subscribe and ring the bell. Wait, we're not on YouTube here, are we? So make sure you follow to not miss this and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.